Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial with the uh, FA-18 Hornet uh, and the MIG. So, <clears throat> in this one we're going to talk about a head-to-head -head demonstration using infrared missiles. As you can see, I'm in dogfight mode, and that's achieved by uh, by uh, using the HODES command on your throttle. Alright, there's a, uh, the F-18 and BMS simulates the F-16 avionics, uh, so we're just going to go into straight dogfight mode. Um, and more than likely this is what you're going to see. You're going to see this Archer infrared all aspect missile coming at you head on. There's not much you can do about that. And there's the MIG down there. And uh, I have my AIM-9 uh, selected. Uh, and there's really nothing that you can do. There's the AIM-9X. <laughs> and he's in a head-to-head -head fight with us and he just launched that Archer. So we're pretty much dead at this uh, at this point. All right. So we're going to talk about what we can do to fight a MiG-29, either the A or the S model. All right, guys, so welcome to another scenario. And in this one, we're facing against a MiG-29A uh, with just infrared all-aspect missiles and infrared missiles. So I'll lock them up on my left side there. And um, I'm, in, I'm in the uh, furball mode here, so... I'm going to use a chaff only program manual and then I'm going to go over to my uh, SMS page here on the right side just so I can see what's going on. So typically what I like to do is have the FCR on the left and the uh, the uh, SMS page on the uh, right hand side. Let's switch over to AIM-9X and we want to cool the seeker head and then uh, bore sight as well. And then you also want your helmet mounted uh, queuing system on. Alright, so we're going to do a few things here. And my first thing I'm going to do is turn into the bandit. And there he is on radar. Let's pause it for a sec. Uh, and let's take a look at the MiG real quick. Alright, so you can see uh, there is the AA-11 Archer. And that's the all-aspect um, infrared seeking missile. Now, based on the research that I've done, depending on the variant, it has roughly a range of probably 20 miles on average. Some can go up to 24, but that's that might be for non-maneuvering targets or something like that. Uh, so the thing to remember is that your AIM-9X is thrust vectoring, so is this missile, and you can, uh, it's an all-aspect missile. That means you can, uh, <laughs> you can shoot an aircraft from head on and it'll detect the heat signature or from various different aspects and you can also get a, a tailpipe shot as well. Alright, so what we're going to do is uh, inside our aircraft we're going to monitor the uh, the distance here, we're at 18.9 miles uh, and see when he actually fires off the missile. So let's go ahead and watch him and we'll uh, we'll see what mileage he'll, he'll number one get a visual uh, acquire of our aircraft and number two when he actually fires a missile. And you can st see he's still on his turn here at 14 miles. There's 13 miles. And there's a missile launch. Alright, so he fired at us about 10 miles uh, in this scenario. Now I've ran this a few times and you know he can fire at, uh, at 16 miles, he's fired at 14 miles. You know, it just depends on when uh, you know he, he gets a good, he stops his defensive tactics and when he gets a good uh, visual uh, target on you. So one thing to do is just, if you turn the jammer on, that's just gonna if he doesn't have visual on you, that's just going to uh, scramble his radar where he can't pick you up on radar. So if he loses visual, he can't see you on radar either, either hopefully. All right. So we're going to do what I call a uh, S-flare reversal. And all that is is we're going to take a note of our heading. We're, we're heading uh, 090 roughly eastbound. Okay. And what we're going to do is a hard right turn, 180, or actually uh, 
all the way up to almost 360 degrees. Take a look at him. And then uh, we're going to reverse and do the uh, same thing again, going the other way. Okay. And the point is to drop as much flare as possible in that turn. All right. Ideally, you want to be at corner velocity. I'm obviously really fast at 650, but it should work. And you don't want to be in burner. Because that gives them a nice heat signature. So just remember your heading. 090. So I know he's somewhere in that sector of sky back there. Alright, there he is again. So I'm going to assume that he's fired again. And I'm going to reverse. Let's take a look at him. Uh, yeah, there's a missile tracking towards us. And you can see that we're trying to get the flares between us and the missile. Alright. Actually, there's two missiles there. <laughs> you can see one on the left, one on the right. So he kind of volleyed those. Um, and there we are in relation to him. So our belly is facing him. That's what you want. You want the flares between uh, you and him. Alright, let's take a look at his missile here real quick. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to do that, uh, the final part of that S maneuver. And again, we're taking note that he is uh, 0, 090. Zero. And I'm really slow here. You want to be at corner. There's one, there's two explosions of the, uh, of the missile. Alright, so once you confirm that, you can uh, track him on radar here. Alright, so visual on him. And I'm going to try aim... I'm trying to aim 7 shot and high... Uh, I'm going to uncage it. And remember, helmet mounted queuing system. There's a good tone. And I'm going to shoot off one at him. Uh, I defeated that one. We still have our two uh, NPs. Which again are all aspect, that means we can kill them at any angle. But uh, we got to get the, uh, the nose pointed at him first. Alright, so we'll use our low speed handling here. Just keep throwing the nose at him, pulling hard, make it a very short fight if you can. Fox 2. You can see the amazing uh, alpha capabilities. High alpha capabilities. Alright, there we go. Uncage it. Go into dogfight mode, get some guns on him. Lock. And uh, there's our kill. All right, so you can see that took a little bit of work uh, on our part, but we were able to successfully uh, defeat both of his archers and then get in a position where we could actually shoot him. All right, so again, the maneuver is going to be a S flare reversal. That's just what I call um, getting flares between you and him. Okay, uh, so you're going to do kind of a full 360 back to the east. Take a look at him. Assume that he's launched again. Uh, and break back to the left, or you can do continue a right turn if you like. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Uh, and then you're going to go visual on him, get your aim 9x, and if if uh, if you can get a head-on shot, or if you can take a snapshot while you're looking at him during during the uh, reversal, you can fire that off. So remember, the aim 9x you, is an all aspect. If you're looking, if you're going head-on with him, you can uh, lock him up or look at him and uh, send that missile off. All right. Uh, the archer, he also has a helmet mount queuing system, and, and it's about a 40 degree, I've heard 60, but I think it's 40 degree according to documentation, uh, to the left or right of his nose. Uh, so that means 20 degrees left, 20 degrees right. I think the AIM-9X might be a little bit more than that, maybe 30, but don't quote me on, on that because I haven't looked it up. But uh, use that AIM-9X as soon as you get uh, a shot at him. So you can see that we were using the uh, very high turn rate of the Hornet uh, and 
and high alpha low speed capabilities to really bring our nose around and get weapons on him as quickly as possible once we were visual with him it was pretty much uh, kind of like a two circle fight you know as longer than I wanted it to be uh, sometimes you can get a shot off uh, as soon as he expends that second archer you can get the nose back on him and you can get a head-on shot with the aim 9x alright so I hope you guys enjoy that video and that's just some basic uh, basic tactics using a close range encounter with a MiG uh, you shouldn't be looking for a fight with a MiG 29A or S uh, this is when you're out of options maybe you're, you're in a strike package you just come off target and you got jumped by a couple of MiGs or uh, if you're low level and you're, you're in a strike package and you get jumped by some MiGs and you all of a sudden you're looking and you get them visual and you have to you're forced into a fight at that point I would probably jettison the uh, air to ground ordinance and start fighting them using these uh, tactics and maneuvers alright uh, hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time alright guys so we're gonna set up here again same scenario uh, and I just want to show you a vertical uh, jinking technique or a vertical kind of S flare reversal um, what we're gonna do is uh, you got him visually here he's at 20 miles uh, again we're gonna turn towards him helmet mounted queuing system is on We'll try to be about 450 knots if we can. There's 18 miles. Let's take a look at him. Now let's see when he fires the actual shot. Alright, there's the shot, and that was at 14.7. So, pretty much on average, what I'm seeing is if he just stays head on and doesn't do any defensive tactics, he's going to be shooting at you at right around 15, maybe uh, 16. Uh, so, that should be your minimum abort range for uh, infrared missiles if you know that he, you know, doesn't have. Uh, uh, active missiles which I mean you can't know that but if you're close enough where you know you're kind of engaged in this dogfight where you're like 10 miles visual all of a sudden there's a, a MIG that jumps you you can use these tactics okay so we're gonna try instead of doing the uh, S reversal with a, a 360 uh, hard break we're actually gonna do it in the vertical this time alright so same concept we're gonna get uh, flares between you and the missile and then we're also going to get out of afterburner to reduce our, our heat signature as well. So let's do that now. I'm just going to go straight up. Get out of burner. Alright, and reverse back on him. Try to take a look. Chaff. I'm going to assume that he's launched again here. Chaff, flare. And let's take a look at what he's doing. So let's just see. Alright, he's launched both of them, obviously. This one is, uh, it seems like it's headed towards the water. And his other one, I'm not sure if it's, uh, if it's tracking us or not. Um, Chaff, flare, chaff, 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 flare, chaff, flare. Alright, now we're going to turn back into him. Yep, got him visual. There's a Fox 2 head on shot. And that was a good hit. Fox 2 again. Going to dogfight mode. Block. And that's the uh, the end of that make, so he's having a bad day. Alright, so that's a vertical jank maneuver. Same kind of concept. Uh, probably the hard break is a more effective um, technique, maybe, just depending on the circumstance. You do that vertical break, it flares between you and him. Uh, and you know maybe you can hammerhead down, come back down, do another flare path as well. So you, you kind of get a double stack of flares between you and him. Uh, you could, you know, pr 
probably do a, a loop and actually, or um, and actually an Immelman. So just get the flares between you and him, and then head away from him, and then turn back into him. Take a look. Uh, so it's it's just kind of this this game of cat and mouse where you're uh, getting flares between you and and the missile, you and him, uh, and then you're taking a look, see what's going on, and then reversing uh, back into him, trying to get weapons on. All right, all right. I'll see you guys next time.